Let's talk about while loops. So while loops are what you use when you want the computer to do something many times. So let's say, for example, I want to print out uh, the uh, 100 bottles of beer on the wall. And uh, print 100 bottles of beer on the wall, then 99, 98, and so forth, all the way down to 1. Uh, I could, you know, cut and paste this a hundred times, but that would be kind of boring. And of course, uh, I can change it at runtime if I decided to start at, say, 110. So the way we would do this is first you want to decide how many beers you want. So number of beers, beers is 100, uh, it should be beers. And then we have the while loop. It says while the number of beers is bigger than zero, do the following. And what we want to do is print out that. Uh, instead of the fix 100, of course, we want to print out the number of beers. And let's try running that as it is. So you see that's the while loop. This is while this condition is true, then do the things in the block one after the other. There's only one thing here, but you could put more things there. So when we run that, what you see happens is it starts to print out 100 bottles of beer on the wall and over and over again. Um, we are now in what is called an infinite loop. So this loop is going to go on forever. Uh, because the computer is going to check, is the number of beers bigger than zero? Yes, because it's 100. 100 is bigger than zero, print this, then go back. Is 100 bigger than zero? Yes. Print this, go back. Is 100 bigger than zero? Yes. Print this, go back, and so on forever. So the only way, the way to stop it in Eclipse is you hit this red button, you get out of that infinite loop, and you fix your program. So what we did wrong there was we forgot to decrease the number of beers by one each time. So you can do that. Um, decrease by one. So minus equal that it, this is the same as saying number of beers is number of beers minus one. Um, and let's try that. So now we see that it stopped. You can scroll, scroll all the way down, and you see that it stopped at one bottle of beer on the wall, and it st started at 100. So there you go, it worked. Um, let's, uh, you can also um, do move this around. So I can move this to the end here, and I can put a do here. So this way, we can run it. You see, it prints, it goes all the way down to one, and it starts at 100, so it does exactly the same thing as the one before. Uh, there is one difference, however. Um, the do while loop uh, will always execute this block once. So we start at this line here, um, we go to this line and this line, then, um, sorry, then the program checks the conditional part. Uh, and if the number of peers is bigger than zero, then it goes back to the top. Uh, so if I make this zero here, say we start with zero beers, we run it, and it does print out zero bottles of beer on the wall. However, if we had it the other way around, so if we had the while loop at the top, and we ran that, it doesn't print anything. So because when you have it this way, first it does the check. If the check is true, then it runs the code, uh, and then goes back to the top with the do first. Since the check is at the end, it doesn't do it. It just runs the code once, and then, um, Check, does the check at the end. Okay, so that's good. Let's try something a little bit more interesting. Uh, you can also
take a while loop and nest it. Uh, so you can put a while loop inside a while loop. And that's we do that a lot. Uh, let's say, for example, you wanted to do print out uh, A1, A2, A3, and then B1, B2, B3. Um, so all the way to say A10 uh, or uh, let's make it nine. Um, so like a battleship, if you ever play that game, uh, you have the row and column, and the row is the letter, the column is a number, and uh, you want to print that whole table out without the dots, you know, all of them. So let's start by printing out the letters. So we're going to have a character. Uh, let's call it the letter, and it's going to start with the letter A. Uh, we're going to say while the letter is less than, uh, let's say, I don't know, M, um, I'm going to print out the letter. And uh, I'm going to increase the letter by one. So let's run that. So as you can see, this prints out A, B, C, D, E, F, all the way down to L. Okay, so we got that part. We're printing, we're going down this way, but now for the letter A, I don't want it to just print the letter A, I want it to print A1, A2, A3, and so forth. So what I actually want is I want to get rid of this, and I want to put another while loop in here. Uh, and uh, here I want to declare a new number. Let's call it the number. And that's going to go from 1, and let's say while the number is less than 9. No, well, it has to be less than 10, right? Uh, then I'm going to print out the letter plus the number plus a space. And then I have to increase the number by 1. Did you catch all that? So let's try running that. And, uh, well, we have a problem here because it's converting the letter into a number. So, um, we want to, we want the letter to remain a string and we want the number, uh, to, you know, also become a string. What's happening now is this letter is getting uh, turned into a number when we try to print it out. Um, so let's uh, typecast that. Let's see if that will help us. Nope. Still no good. So we're going to have to do number dot number dot sorry integer not number dot to string and then the number And let's try that. Okay. So now we got the letter and the number, A1, A2, A3, A4, and it goes all the way to A9, and then V1. We still don't have it in uh, table format. So to do that, what's happening is that each, the print len, print ln, uh, prints a string, and then the terminate the line. So we don't really want to terminate the line. So we can use the print statement for that. Uh, you see, print prints a string. That's it. So it doesn't terminate the line. I mean, um, so we can do that. Now it prints everything in one line. So we're getting closer. What we want now is to terminate the line or create a new line right after this is done. The A9 is printed, or and the B9 and the C9. So that would be right here. So what we want to do is print nothing in there. So this is just going to print the empty string. I'm sorry. Just going to print the empty string and, uh, and a new line character. So let's try that. And there we go. A1, A2, A3, and then B1. 
So you see this is a nested loop, a while, two while loops, one inside the other, to print out a little battleship uh, card. 